umbrella can protect against any kind of weather. Actually, that's my anti-umbrella. The umbrella that brings the weather to you. I invented it shortly before I was banned from inventing. Ah! See? I'm not in a buying mood now, okay? Then take the umbrella for free. Ginger, don't give stuff away. We need to make money today, or we won't be able to pay our rent. And then, lighten up. You're bumming out the customers. I thought you were okay with the bracelet. It's not the bracelet, it's the company. Even if we sell enough stuff to pay the rent, Tom and Ben Enterprises is still doomed. We'll be okay. We make inventions. We just need to find one big idea. But I can't invent. And hopefully soon, because these bills are piling up. Oh, good, Angela, you brought more stuff to sell. These aren't for sale, Tom. They're my stuff subscriptions. It's the hot new thing where companies send you mystery boxes of cool stuff. Musty old Halloween costumes? Nice. It's worse than the junk we're selling. No, it's better because people love mystery boxes. Look, there's even a popular show about opening them. Welcome to Rockin' and Unboxing. Today we got silly straws, y'all. Aw, I'm stoked. Just slurp and giggle. Guys, I just found our big idea. And I found monster teeth. I know how we're going to pay our rent this month, and it's going to save Tom and Ben Enterprises. Huh? Wow! Boy, I bet the thing that's gonna save the company is in that box. No, it is that box. I call it Great Crate. We are going to sell boxes of mystery stuff. Ooh, like in the rockin' and unboxing videos. I love those. Tom, what are we gonna put in these boxes? A bunch of outdated tech? We could, because if we put it in the crate, it's great. How about that for a catchphrase, huh? I'll buy one of those. That last thing you guys gave me made me really happy. See, Tom, sales boy of the year. No selling stuff inside the diner. What is it anyway? A mystery crate of stuff that's great. Wait a minute. You're telling me I don't even get to know what I'm buying? What an adventure! Sign me up! Well, we did it. We sold enough crates to pay the rent and save our company. I told you we'd be okay. You were right, Tom. This was a good idea. Hey, guys, the MC just put out a new video. What up, box heads? It's a new box alert. Just got a box from a new company called Great Crate. Oh, that's us. My entertainment world and my life world are colliding. Yo, it's a musical toothbrush, y'all. Nice. I'm all about cavity prevention and dancing. Oh, no. This is bad. What's wrong, Ben? This is going to be great publicity for us. Rockin' and Unboxing has a million viewers. If even 1% of them buys a great crate, we won't be able to fill the orders. Our company will collapse again. Ben. I'm sure that won't happen. <gasps> okay, um, we can fix this. We, we, we can fill a few thousand more boxes. I mean, there's plenty of stuff lying around at the garage, right? I'll get the trash. Wait, think about the reputation of our company. You can't stuff boxes with things that aren't even good. It doesn't have to be good. Once it's in the crate, it's great. I hope. People like half empty bottles of salad dressing, right? Hold on, fellas! Stay back! Our memories! Hey, 
that picture wasn't saved to your phone, then it wasn't important in the first place, was it? Which reminds me, we should put our phones in a box. Oh, we did it. By turning to nature, we managed to fill all the orders. I hope people are happy with their boxes of dirt and leaves. At least things can go back to normal now. What? No! What did you monsters do to the TV? Okay, well, uh, here's what I think uh, might have happened. There's a chance the TV maybe wound up in one of the crates? Yes! Oh, it was worth it, buddy. They were just trying to save the garage. My garage is ruined. Where is my front lawn? Where are my daffodils? Where? Are my petunias. We had a very good reason to ruin the lawn. Mm -mm. But also, uh, it's better uh, for your allergies. Uh, no pollen. Bad pollen gone. I should evict you for this. Please don't. This was all so we could pay our rent. Get off my property. And if this is not fixed by tomorrow, you can pack your things. Evicted. A picture in a river. A peaceful river. Nothing disturbs my river. Hey, what's up, Angela? Good news. We're moving in. We ruined the garage, stuffing great crates, and now we're basically evicted. Uh, I'll claim this area. Just to warn everyone, I'm a very loud snorer. You guys can't move in here every time you screw something up in the garage. You're polluting my river. Well? That's life, Angela. The world is a dark and twisted place where your friends give away your TV. Oh, I'm gonna give away their faces! Oh, oh, Angela has a TV, too! It's not the same. You can't give up on the garage. You have to get it back. But we can't make people give back their great crates. Maybe you can't. But I know who can. No can do, friend Arenos. An unboxer could never ask their audience to rebox something. Come on, MC, we're desperate. I took an oath to open boxes, take things out of them, and excitedly tell people what those things were. Speaking of which, I got to get to a live rocket and unboxing Extrava Bonanza. Peace! Well, that's it. This is our life now. We'll never be able to stop making great crates. We'll just travel from place to place. Don't even think about it, Tom! Well, since you're doing that, what if you put this subscription box in a box? It'd be like a double subscription. You'd be a hero. Eh, you can get rid of it if you want. Opening it was fun, but there's really no reason to have a bunch of spooky costumes. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> or maybe there is. Yeah, 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 yeah! It's gonna be hard not to eat these waffle-scented candles! But now it's time for the next box! This one's from g g g g g g Great Crate! Yeah, 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 yeah! It's soil, y'all! Great for tomatoes, making footprints, and storing worms! Destroy them! To avoid the curse, you must mail back every great crate to the place from which they came! Okay, 
right, okay. Mail those great crates back, y'all. Oh, TV, I'm so glad to have you back. I felt like a completely different person without you. And it actually scared me, to be perfectly honest. It scared us too, Hank. Seriously. Well, we're out of the exciting world of stuff subscriptions. And I still can't do tech. So we're still doomed. Hey, at least everything is back to normal. And we made a little bit of money. Maybe enough to fund our next big idea. Sure, if your next big idea is paying the rent. Oh, yeah. Or that. Quick! Do something amazing! I have to make a documentary for school. Well, Ginger, you're in luck. Because I'm getting ready for the town's key handing over mayor ceremony. Ugh, I don't even know what that is, but I can tell it's lame. The key handing over mayor ceremony is not lame. It's where Tom finishes his term as mayor by handing the key to the city to the next mayor. Our town's proudest tradition. Hard pass. I want something more like indoor rocket ship building or a fight contest. No, seriously, this will be great. Now, get a shot of me opening the safe, huh? where I always keep the key to make sure that it's safely there. What? No. No. It's gone! No! Uh, check your jacket pockets. Sometimes keys get lost in there. Hank, it's a giant key and it was here earlier today. There's only one explanation for this. The key to the city's been stolen! <gasps> This is really bad. If I don't get the key back before the ceremony, my whole legacy as mayor will be ruined. My camera doesn't pick up your imagination, Tom. I need action. Here, smash this lamp. Do something. Tom doesn't have to do anything. I'll crack this mystery. My years of cop show watching have taught me how the criminal mind works. Well, it's worth a shot. <clears throat> as my last act as mayor... Huh? As my last act as mayor, I'm appointing you town detective for today. Find that key! I won't let you down, sir! I didn't see anything. I was just walking in the park with Tom. Walking in the park with Tom, huh? Can anyone back up that story? Uh, Tom can? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, Hank. I, I was at the diner all morning, eating cranberry donuts and working on my novel, a thriller about a germ with nothing to lose. Grime and punishment? Oh, well, the title checks out. I was busy bird watching by the town hall, taking pictures of birds and anything else that might have been going on. Pictures, eh? Are the landlord's photos the break the case needs? All right, let's see. We got a bird, bird, flower, another bird, little bird. That first bird again, guess he liked that one. You know, this doesn't give me much to go on. Ah, look at these! The landlord is wiping off his butt because he sat in a pile of leaves. <laughs> what am I going to do about this case? Rhonda, give me a cranberry donut. We haven't had those in weeks. What? That can't be right. Jeremy had some this morning. Not here, he didn't. Sorry, Hank. I, I was at the diner all morning eating cranberry donuts and working on my novel. That dirty germ was never here. So Jeremy lied about the donuts? Well, that means he must be our key thief. But why would he do this? Well, jealousy, revenge, pure evil. Who knows why criminals do their criminal things? But the facts are clear. That key was in the town hall this morning, and so was Jeremy. After you left to see Angela, Jeremy stole the key. Then he snuck outside, avoiding the landlord's camera, and stashed the key somewhere safe. Are you gonna fight him? Not yet. Let's see where he goes. He's selling the key! Get that germ! Stop! In the name of the town detective! <laughs> Slow down the action!
already told you I don't know nothing about no key! Oh, yeah? Then why did you run? Because you were chasing me! What's going on? Should I call the police? We are the police. Help me, Ben! I've been framed! Pack up and get out, you burglar. Stop! You've got the wrong germ. I don't know who stole the key, but I know it wasn't Jeremy. I didn't tell him! I promise! Wait a minute. Tell us what? A story of lies and tasty dessert sweets. I wanted to do something special for Tom's big day, so I baked him a surprise mayor send-off cake. I lured Tom to the park, and I used the same password Tom always uses and hid the cake in Tom's safe. Which I learned was a terrible hiding spot when Tom said... I better get to town hall to make sure the key to the city is still in the secret place I always leave it, the safe in the mayor's office. Tom was about to find my cake, so I called the only person who could move it in time, Jeremy. That's why I lied about where I was. I didn't want to spoil the surprise. But, I mean, you gotta admit, this meeting looked very suspicious. I was just taking the cake back. And I dressed up nice to go to Tom's mayor ceremony. Don't I look professional? Well, everything is explained. Except one thing. I still don't know where the key to the city is. I'm sorry, Tom. This cake was supposed to be a sweet end to a special day. But now when I look at it, all I see is trouble. Ceremony will be starting soon. Time to go down in history as the worst mayor this town has ever had. Maybe try to get your facts straight next time, detective. <sighs> it was just bad police work. I really thought we had something with the donut lie. Well, at least we got this funny picture of the landlord with a leaf stuck to his butt. <laughs> Stop trying to cheer me up, Ginger. Okay. There's nothing to do but leave. But leave? I think I might know where that key is. Wait! My true crime documentary isn't ready to watch! I didn't add sound effects or explosions yet! Ah, that doesn't matter. Go to the part of the film where Angela threw out the cake. Okay, now zoom in. Enhance. 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 Zoom out a little bit. Enhance one more time. Oh, oh, oh. There. Bingo. It's the key! No way! Like a leaf stuck to a landlord's butt, that key was stuck to the bottom of the cake. So all we have to do is get it out of the trash, and Tom's reputation as mayor will be saved! Oh, oh it's garbage day. <sighs> this is it. After today, I'll probably have to leave town and go live on a boat or something. No, Tom, you get seasick. Oh, I deserve to be seasick. Be pretty. Stop! Stop the vehicle! Pull over! Yeah. <laughs> you know, why do we have this key ceremony anyway? Where's the key, Tom? We want to see you hand over the key! 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 key. 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 
now I'm going to present it to our new mayor. Oh, no. Yeah! Oh, hello. <laughs> wow! You solved the case! Never underestimate an official town detective. <laughs> Angela, where are you? Angela! Angela! Where are you? Angela! Have you seen Angela? She has to be here. Okay, people, I want the status of Operation Find Our Missing Friend Angela. And I want it yesterday. I made a list of every concert hall within 50 miles. If Angela performs at any of them, I'll hear about it. Oh, that's great. As long as she doesn't get on a bus, make it 1,000 miles. No, 10,000. Gotcha. Tom, I made fake online profiles for a bunch of people Angela would want to meet. Now we just sit back and wait for her to take the bait. Nice idea. But these friends aren't friendly enough. Make these friends friendlier. Huh? How is this helping? Well, as you know, I am currently banned from using tech. Right, huh? because the mysterious agency blamed Ben for the Zapper invasion. And in a stunning twist, the agent in charge of keeping Ben down was Ben's girlfriend, Xenon. Seriously, who are you talking to? Oh, uh, just, um, reminding myself what happened. Anyway, all of that severely limits my ability to help, so I made popsicles to keep our energy up. Stop! <laughs> Watch it! I didn't cut a deal to save you all and move into your garage just to get hit with ice! Everyone, stop talking about what happened before. I need your help, Ben. You were the best. So if Xenon is evil now, we'll just have to go around her. What did you have in mind? Right, I'm here in the park after sundown, and I made sure I wasn't followed. Why all the cloak and dagger stuff, Tom? I got it from an old lady. If you use it, the agency will think your name is Edna, and you're going online to write a scented candle review. We could get in big trouble for this. No one else can know we... Ah! Ah! Hi, Tom! Hi, Ben! You should be at the garage. Yeah, but I have sense of when sneaky stuff is happening, and I wanted a piece of the action. Oh, fine, but this stays between the three of us. Got it? <laughs> so uh. does that mean I should go or stay or what? Everyone, just keep quiet. I'm about to find Angela. Oh, I missed the feel of my fingers on a keyboard. Now I simply access the GPS network to... <laughs> Genius. Why can't you understand one simple rule? Don't use tech. I understand the rule. I'm ignoring it because I need to find Angela. 
Remember when we used to use tech to solve problems together? You can't use this. Last time you had a computer, you almost broke the world. Okay, since he almost broke the world, you should almost stop us from finding our friend, right? This belongs to Edna! How will she review her candles now? Well, I guess Edna's another casualty of you being reckless. And now, since you can't be trusted not to sneak around, I have to give you this. What is this thing? This thing is a bracelet that will zap you if you try to use tech. No! You can't do this to me! You did it to yourself. Goodbye, boys. I have to go back to the only people who can be trusted. A secret organization with shadowy goals and unlimited power. Wow, she's really changed. This is why Hank flies so low. Tom, hear me out. We should join the agency. They can do anything, and they give you rocket glasses! Actually, that is a good point. Follow that nerd! One, 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 one. Invisible? Can she do that? No, this can't be another dead end. <gasps> Hold on, Tom! The spy shows I watch, even though my parents told me not to, say there's always a secret entrance. Stop messing around, Ginger. Maybe we missed something outside. <gasps> this is either a really big bathroom, or it's the agency. second bracelet? No! I was... We were... Help, Tom. Uh, excellent work, Agent Xenon. You found the intruders. We're actually double-secret triple agents. We were testing you, right? Right! We totally belong here and deserve rocket glasses! Mm-hmm. Come with me. I've got just the place for you. Us, I just want to say that I understand how exciting it must be to work in a place like this. I don't blame you. Good to hear, Ben. Because uh. I'd be super sad if you all hated me right now. I'm so relieved you got my signal to follow me. What? Signal? When I said you couldn't use a laptop to find Angela, but implied I had another way to do it. You picked up on all my clues, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we saw that. Why couldn't you just tell us that you were gonna help? Obviously, because the agency is always watching, Tom. Well, this guy gets it. Xenon, this is fantastic! You've been on our side the whole time! I'm good. I admit, I started to doubt you with that whole bracelet thing. I had to convince the agency I was against you. Now, we have to find Angela. And there's a machine that can do it. The Privacy Destroyer. <laughs> Fairly impressive. <laughs> With a name like the Privacy Destroyer, it almost sounds like a bad thing. But I guess the agency knows best. The machine will open a portal to wherever Angela is. You go through it. I'll stay back and make sure no one finds out what we're doing. Got it! Now it's time for Science Ben to get back in the science ben, set. Ben, you can't touch it! Ben, 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 you can't use Cancel the mission! Ugh, I'm gonna 
lose kitchen privileges over this. No one is losing anything. We're finding something. I'm gonna find Angela. Ignore these fans, everyone. We've got a song to finish. Yeah. 